So yeah, perseverance is a sign of congruency. It's a sign of being authentic. It's an automatic thing. But if, if you need to be driven and motivated and, and uh, have to have willpower, to me, that's not where it's at. I don't, I'm not interested in that. I don't need willpower to do what I do. In any industry, how much would you rate the quality of persistency in defining the winners? So, you know, whether we're talking about lawyers, doctors, bus drivers, envelope, envelope stuffers, being persistent in whatever you're, you want to do, uh, how would that, how much would that, how much would you rate the quality of persistency in defining the winners of those specific industries? Well, I think that the people that are willing to put in the extra hours and putting the due diligence and putting in the persistence on that are the people that, I'm, in, in my case, you know, if I just keep doing something, eventually everybody else dies out, I end up at the top. That's all. I just got to keep going. You know, if I live long enough, I'll be, I'll be number one because there's nobody old enough to catch up with me. But, but yeah, perseverance, that's a symptom, though, of living congruently with your highest value. Because in your highest value, you're spontaneously inspired and you're fueled and you're efficient and you don't have a desire to, you don't need motivation. You don't, you don't get drained doing it. I don't get drained teaching. <laughs> And I'll go all day on it, 18 hours a day, I sometimes teach. So I don't get drained doing that. So it's not, it's a spontaneous action. And I'd much rather have spontaneous action instead of evoked extrinsic motivation all the time. So yeah, perseverance is a sign of congruency. It's a sign of being authentic. It's an automatic thing. But if, if you need to be driven and motivated and, and um, have to have willpower, to me, that's not where it's at. I don't, I'm not interested in that. I don't need willpower to do what I do.